So why do they call it air crash? I did not raise you to have such bad manners. Hey everyone, Tuni SA here, back with a developer relic special. This time we are dying. This time we are doing air crash. You may remember the very first dev relic we did at the 500 subscriber special. We went back and we did fumbling in the dark. A level I like quite a lot, but this time we are on Air Crash, and it's going to take quite a bit to get back used to the Crash 2 controllers after playing Crash 4 and more Crash 4. Now, I have some funny but also sad news. I literally did just beat the dev time on my third attempt. The problem was, I was recording the footage in a really messed up way, where only half of the screen was actually like showing in the OBS and I didn't realize that until it was much too late. So I've got to beat my own time now. If you don't believe me, I will show you a clip of me being in the dev time just a few moments ago. Hey everyone, Tuni SA here with another video. Hey everyone, Tuni SA here, and you may see that we are back in old school territory. That's right, we are back on Crash Bandicoot 2. Air Crash. Now, the reason why we are here and not doing Crash 4 or Crash 4 is because we have reached 600 subscribers, which means it's time for another 100 subscribers special. Last time we did Fumbling in the Dark to defeat the dev time. This time, we are trying to defeat the dev time on Air Crash. Now, if you look below my beautiful face, you will see that I actually have the exact same time as the dev on this level, 48.30. But that does not count as beating the dev. That counts as tying with the dev, which is not what we want. So this time, we are back to actually beat our previously pretty decent time, but obviously not decent enough. The good news is this is a level that I quite enjoy. I did mention to some people in the Discord that I'd be doing Crash Dash, but I decided to instead do Air Crash, purely because it's a level I enjoy a little bit more than Crash Dash, and I didn't feel like torturing myself today. But yeah, I'm excited for this one. Um, it isn't very nice to be back on Crash 2, though, because I have to remember that this is the exact opposite of Crash 4. I need to slide jump, slide spin, slide everything as much as possible. Whereas Wrath of Cortex, you don't want to be sliding everywhere. Sliding is actually a slow way to get around on that game, so yep. Yeah. Ooh, that could have been costly. Are we gonna beat a cycle here? Yes we are, okay. I do recall mentioning to myself, I don't know if I got it on video, um, in the last time we were on this level, but if you can beat that cycle I just beat, you're on for a good time. Because usually those guys are coming back. Nice, we beat the dev time already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That didn't take very long at all. What was that, like two or three attempts? I'm almost surprised I didn't just beat it the first time because that didn't take much effort at all. <laughs> I'm too slow. So there, you see there, 47.96. Third attempt, I beat the dev. I couldn't believe it. I was like, okay, how did I not beat the dev the first time around if I got that close, literally the very next attempt? So yeah, um, just to make sure the episode is a bit more interesting, um, I'm going to try and beat my own time at least once before letting this level rest. And then, yeah, the next time we uh, see each other, it will be for Weathering Heights on Crash Wrath of Cortex. But yeah, it took a little bit of getting used to because in Crash Wrath of Cortex, you don't want to be doing the slide jump. You want to be just holding down sprint shoes. So it takes a little bit of getting used to Crash Bandicoot 2 again, sliding everywhere with your cramped up like crab-like fingers by the end of each recording. 
And one thing I did note is that if you beat these two mines coming back, it means that you're on for a decent run, like a potentially dev beating time run. But obviously that doesn't matter because of the whole recording situation. And it also doesn't matter because apparently I can't dock a jetboard. Have we learnt nothing from Jetboard Jetty? Right, this part I legit don't know how to do fast. Just like, maybe I'm gonna have to take it slow. Let the guys destroy themselves on the bombs, like, as if I'm playing the level normally. Alright, come on. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, wait, wrong way, wrong way. All right, we've got one mask going into the last section. Hey, Giza. Great to see you again. Wait, is there no boss? What? There's no boss? That might be the worst step I've ever had. Now, before I did this run through, I didn't even watch my old time. I just, I think I have a little bit of muscle memory from how many times I ran these levels from the very first time I was doing the, uh, the dev time. Not the dev times, the belly button. That sucks ass, man. Okay, yeah, this is why I hate this game. This is why I hate Crash 2. It just brings back belly button memories. It's like, this game, this, Crash 2 should be the best one because everyone likes Crash 2, but... Belly buttons, stop it from being the best one. Now, some people in the Discord will have been aware that I was actually planning on doing Crash Dash for this episode. I changed my mind just because I decided that I wanted to play a level today that I enjoyed. And so even though Crash Dash is a level I need to do, I remember not having a very nice time on that level. So I thought, you know what, I don't want to be depressed today. I want to have, I want to have like a good memory of playing Crash today. Which is why I've chose this level, because I seem to recall quite enjoying it the last time we were here. Never mind. I can see now why Crash invested in swimming lessons in the next game. Look how much uh, he has to suffer on this particular run. I do wish the anime... Uh, like, I, I definitely remember how much I hate watching the same freaking animations over and over again. That still pisses me off. That was slow. Look at that, 991. That's really slow. It's not impossible to beat my time because I did make some mistakes on my actual run after that point. But it's unlikely. Yeah, these pillars are in a much slower spot. If, if the pillars, like, when on, on my dev beating run, the pillars were literally just about coming up as I got there. If I see them like already up, it means that I'm probably going too slow. Is that a better strategy where I just did there? I got here in 884. That's a good sign. And then yeah, this is actually better if you just don't zoom. Because you have more control taking the bends. Like, if you if you were a real big pro, you could probably control it so that you got those bends just spot on. I, however, am not a good enough pro to do that. See that? Okay, we got those at the same kind of time that I got on the dev time there. They were just about coming up. And also, those guys are to the left, which means that we get a clean run. And it also means that we can afford to lose our Aki Baki. No! That was going to be it. That was going to be it. I turned into Jar Jar Binks for a second. I was that depressed. I was like, Misa, I think that was good enough. Misa is your humble servant. Really sad about that. We got an 884, dude.
think we've made up for the bad time though in this section. This section seems to have gone a little bit better. Yeah, it went so well that the thing wasn't even there. Shit, we were going that fast that the um, the pillars hadn't even gone up yet. Shit. Now, look at that, man. We're like nearly a second slower that time. I like how you can land on the hippo's nose. That makes me happy. There we go. That was probably the best timing you're going to get, to be honest. Shit, it happened again. For fuck's sake. Can we get can we get the speed appropriate in that section, please? Please. I'd really appreciate it. We we landed on the pillar there. He drowned he he like drowned before I even had a chance to even touch the pillar. He just decided this is a run ender for no reason. Yeah, I'm trying that approach because if you can avoid spinning to get the plant, obviously you're going to save a little bit of time. Spinning the plant is going to lose me time. Yes. 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 I can't remember where that's from now. Is that from Acolyte? Go, 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 go. Balls, Mahoney. Well, we're definitely getting our episode worth now. Beat our time immediately. And now we're struggling to even finish the level. Control, Alt, Delete, every single Crash Bandicoot death animation. How was that? How was that a 9.34? That was smooth. How? This has got to be good, right? Yeah, those guys are way off compared to usual. No! Oh my gosh, what is it about, like, you, you, you have no problems with these mines any other day of the week. Those mines cause me, like, zero issues. But suddenly, they're deciding to be absolute assholes and be exactly where I don't need them to be. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. Bring me Crash Dash. Another slow one. It's mad because we, we've been at that point literally a second sooner in the past. How? How did we get there like a whole second sooner, apparently? We, it's like almost impossible to be that much slower. <laughs> oh, it was just about to come up. You... That sucks, man. It sucks that you actually, you're prevented from getting a god tier time by that damn cycle. I don't remember though if like, if you wait at the start of the level, does the cycle change? Let's see. See if the cycle changes a little bit later, just out of curiosity. Because I actually don't know. 
that's in the same place, but that could just be coincidence. No, I actually don't know. Everything was pretty much as it normally is. Oh wait, no, those were in a different spot. They were coming towards us. And we don't get to figure it out. Great. So yeah, the cycle does actually go from the start. We might as well just wait. See what happens with different cycles. Especially as I know I can already beat the dev time with the previous cycle because I've already done it. But maybe I can get like an even bigger world beater over time. 9.39, probably not with that. You never know though what it's going to do to later parts of the level. We could be surprised. Nice, we didn't hit the nitros. Great. What cycle is this on? Oh, alright. That was a bad cycle. What's that? 47.53. Was that a better time? I'll put the toony time in just in case. Yeah, we actually got a better time there. I'm genuinely surprised. I didn't feel like that was a particularly strong time. Let's see if we can push it further. second barrier down.
We did it. Sub 46. That is a requirement. Oh. Need a dick. We did it. My fingers are in agony. They're like this. Like a crab's claw. Oh, and I'm almost out of oxygen. I feel like I've been running the entire time because I've been holding my breath every single run. There we go, though. We can finally let this level rest in peace. I'm happy with a 45.93. So, yeah, the challenge is on for anyone else who can beat my time. I know there's already some people that have beat this time already, but this is as far as I'm willing to take it. So, yeah, the next dev relic that I will do will be on Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. So tune in next time for that. See you on the next one.